Hey, Jake, if we don't get more tree swinging help, you're never going to be ready. Ah, then let's bring out our second guest mm. from the rainforest and woodlands of Madagascar. Madagascar. Mel the Lemur. Whoa! Oh, what a hopper. Whoa, it's certainly a strange walking on the ground like this. Well, the trees are so much nicer. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, Mel. Yeah, hiya, Mel. Hey, do you think you can get Jake ready for the tree swinging competition? Oh, well, only if he's going to be the tree. <laughs> no, no, but, 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 but seriously, huh? I, I've spent my whole life here in the forests of Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah, that's, a, that's a large island off the coast of Africa. Africa. Right, Madagascar and the islands around it are the only places on Earth you can find lemurs like me. Huh. I can barely find a lemur like you in those trees. Well, there he is. Oh, yeah, these lemurs we'll see today are all known as ring-tailed lemurs. Uh, but there are 18 other species of lemurs. That's right. There's the mouse lemur, the yeah. dwarf lemur, the gentle lemur, the... Right. Ruffled lemur, the black lemur, and the fort crown lemur. Hey, uh, I'm impressed, Jake. Uh, how do you know all these lemur species? He eats encyclopedias. No, no, no. Uh, Mel, uh, I can certainly see why these are called ringtail lemurs. Uh, do you use your tails to hold on to branches like spider monkeys do? I'm afraid not, Stinky. With all that fur, our, our tails can't get much of a grip. Then why do you even have tails? Oh, tails are very important. They help us keep our balance when we're leaping around in the trees. Without our tails, we'd be very clumsy up there. Oh, just like you, Jake. <sighs> Thanks, Stinky. <clears throat> do lemurs live in troops like spider monkeys do? That's right, Jake. Uh, here's my troop. That's Lem, Millie, Molly, Manny, Moe, and Jack. And here they are coming down the tree. Uh, but I thought you spent all your time up in the trees. Almost all the time, Stinky. But there are certain things you can't do in the trees. Like this. But what are they doing? That's called a threat display. And it's something two male lemurs do in order to attract a female mate. Well, gee, couldn't they just call her on the phone? Well, uh, we do have other ways to communicate, if that's what you mean. For instance, uh, these lemurs here are using their tails to spread their scent and tell other members of the troop who they are. Each lemur has a different scent. Right. A uh, lemur have a very strong sense of smell, and each scent is as individual to a lemur as a set of fingerprints is to a human. Oh. Well, my skunk scent only comes in one aroma. Smelly. Right. And now, come on, we need to know more about what it's like up in the trees. Oh, yeah. It's home. We're much more comfortable and safe up there than we are down on the ground. Well, are the trees a safe place for young lemur? As long as they hold on tight and look before they leap. Oh, well, I wonder if Jake could learn to leap like you guys. Uh, I don't think so, Stinky. The lemurs are natural leapers, like that. <laughs> and climbers. And we're leapers and climbers and sunbathers. In fact, the local people of Madagascar call us sun worshippers. But the word lemur actually means ghost or night spirit, doesn't it? That's right, my encyclopedia-eating friend. Oh. And we got that name because we move so quickly. Looking for us in the trees is like trying to see a ghost. Well, how can Jake be more like a lemur? Well, most of our day is spent resting. I like that. Yeah, we get up early. I don't like that. We go out looking for food. I can do that. We eat fruits, flowers, and tree bark. I prefer a cool fish. And the rest of our day is free for climbing up and down trees like these, grooming each other, sitting in the sun, and spreading our scent. Well, Whoa. thank you, Mel. Yeah, hey, could you sing a song about swinging in trees? It sure would help Jake here. <laughs> oh, I know the perfect song. Ah. Here's Mel the Lemur singing Treeway. You got your freeway, but I've got my treeway. It's keeping my feet off the ground. It's my way of showing. Joking down in a street full of cars. 
just love it. Whoa, swinging song. Thanks, Mel. And now let's take a look at a really big animal that swings from trees. Bigger than a polar bear? It's big, not humongous. And now it's time for... Animal Awards. Mm -hmm. Today we'll find out which of these is the largest monkey. Hey, you know, I once made a big monkey out of myself in an office party. I am telling no, you... No, I'm strong. Later. Gotcha. Which of these <clears throat> animals is the largest monkey? Is it the red howler monkey? Ooh, or the mandrill? Or the black and white colobus monkey? And the winner is... Drill, which can weigh as much as 116 pounds, wow. making it the largest of all monkeys. Hey, I bet you he's an office party animal. The Mandrill, winner of today's Animal Award. Yeah. Oh, you see, Jake? Mandrills are big and they can swing in trees. Well, I weigh a lot more than a mandrill, Stinky. Maybe you're reading too many encyclopedias. <laughs> well, here's a book I'm not going to eat because it's today's oh. story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a troop of spider monkeys, and the spider monkeys all heard that Stanley Spider Monkey was eating some very, very ripe fruit. I don't believe it, said Stanley's sister, Sybil. Doesn't Stanley know that ripe fruit can make you sick? How you doing down there, Stanley? asked Seymour. Be careful not to eat too much, warned Celia. I just don't get it, said Stanley's Uncle Sinbad. Why would he want to eat that stuff? Well, I'm not going to stay around here and watch him eat himself, silly. Mm -mm. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir Ree. Stanley, I'm out of here. And Sinbad swung away. When Stanley finished the fruit, he did feel a little odd. But he was soon back to his old self and lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, great story, Jake. Oh, uh, Stinky, by the way, what's your event in the animal competition? Oh, the Stinkathlon. Uh, my specialty is downwind skiing. Ugh. You don't want to miss it. I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I think I'll enter that hold your wings in the air competition. A little practice. <clears throat> ah. Armstrong, it's habitat time, yeah. and it's a perfect time for you to help me train for the bearathon. Oh, uh, do I have to? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ooh, where are we? The island of Madagascar. It's in the Indian Ocean. Oh, hey, uh, what's in that tree there? It's a lemur. It's only found here in Madagascar. All right, well, keep running circles. You're doing great. Oh, rainforest here has lots of animals that don't live anywhere else. Uh -huh. That's a Madagascan kestrel sitting on top of a baobab tree. A baobab tree? Baobab tree. Yeah, well, if I'm not mistaken, that there is a black crested drongo, one of the world's better looking birds. Oh, yeah. There's an, an out tell it. Out tell it. Yeah, chameleon. Yeah, I know. Thank you. And he seems to be enjoying his meal, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, Don't, don't, don't talk. Right. It's a black lemur having a fruit salad. Yeah. Lots of fruit here in the rainforest. Uh -huh. Right? At different times. Whoa. See you later there, lemur. Oh, the sun is setting. Can I stop running now? You want to win the bear at or not? Oh, look. An eye eye. Eye eyes only come out at night. Oh, that pill bug is hiding from him. Oh, I guess the eye I didn't notice him. I guess not. Hey, uh, bug, it's safe to come out now. Oh, I'm trying, can, can we go back now, please? <laughs> Boy, I never thought I'd hear you say those words, huh? How do you feel? Poked. Yeah? <laughs> well, I guess you're ready for that bear-a-thon now, huh, bunny? But... Well, uh, well, for Habitat Time, this is Armstrong the Chicken Hawk, just back from Madagascar in record time. Back to you, Rhonda. Hey, 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 back it up, huh? <clears throat> Once again, I'm Rhonda Rat, road reporter, getting answers to today's tough questions. Shh. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Ah, uh, sir. Uh -huh. 
Can you tell me which of the following animals is a capuchin? Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? Number, your answer. Number four. And I'll have mine with cinnamon. Oh, you were very close, but very wrong. Oh, uh, what? Here's the real answer. Oh. Number four is a cappuccino, which is a kind of coffee. Number one is a Rufus hummingbird. Number two is a black piranha, and that means the cappuccino is number three. Capuchins are monkeys that live in the tropical forests of Central and South America. This is Rhonda Rapp reporting on the Capuchins. Now back to you, Stinky yeah. and Jake. Get him out of here. All right, come on. I, I told you. Thanks, Rhonda. Well, uh, wonder where Stinky went. Well, well, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank our two tree swinging guests, Hector the Spider Monkey and Mel the Lever. Oh, bad news, Jake. They've canceled your synchronized tree swinging competition on account of termites. Oh. And the only other event I could get you in was... You're not gonna like it. Well, well what is it? The icy water swim. Oh! Stinky! I love the icy water you swim! Do? Yes! I was varsity captain of my polar bear club! You were? <laughs> oh, remember until next time to keep seeing the world through the eyes of animals out of my way. Yeah, I'm yeah, diving yeah. in! Hey, everybody, look at Jake! He's gonna swim! Yeah.